Hey guys, still here and welcome back to War on the Sea. It has been uh, quite a while actually since I started recording. In the sense that I have skipped over a couple of well, rather uneventful battles. There were some, I believe some submarines that I took down. But it's just getting more and more of the same. So I'm happy that I finally have another surface engagement to show you. The Massachusetts, the Flint, McDonough and Farragut have encountered three destroyers. Now this is excellent news because that means that the submarines here that I'm currently setting up in a defensive pattern over here are going to be safer. So we're going to take down some destroyers. There was a request um, asking, hey, why do I not get any more surface encounters? Um, well, <laughs> most of them are dead. Uh, sure, there are still some surface ships left. Just not that many. And because of that, there isn't really that much surface contact or surface combatant... Uh, warfare if you will to show you i would love for that to be different but i've taken down most if not all of their heavy cruisers at this point and because of that well i'm sort of content wise suffering from my own success uh, there are just too few surface units left but these destroyers are a welcome change they are very bravely trying to hit me uh, i probably will benefit from properly identifying these guys so let's get to work on that. We are going to say that this is not, in fact, a submarine class. Uh, no. I still need this thing to more or less properly identify them. Hatsuharu. Gun. Nope. Not a Hatsu. Shira. Probably. So that's a Shira. Target 2 is something a bit smaller. Is that by any chance Imitsuki? Because we're still missing a few of those. In the sense that I haven't sunk them yet. Target 2 Mitsuki. Target 1. Two turrets lined up. Uh, two torpedo launchers. It could be a Fubuki. It could be a f uh, an, Akats or, uh, an Akatsuki, maybe? No. Target 1 assumed Fubuki. We're going to uh, fire on the Fubuki with the Massachusetts. And then... Oh. I put these guys on a turn and didn't take them out of the turn. So we're actually... No, 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 no. McDonough, no. Farragut, you dumb fuck. Turn. I appreciate you wanting to stick to formation, but that is not... Not what I need right now. I need you to leave... Because you're on anti-submarine uh, duty. McDonough. I also need you to leave. That way and then that way. At flank speed. Just get out of here. I don't need my destroyers damaged. The flint. That is an excellent weapon to use. We're going to focus fire against the Fubuki. What are you currently targeting? You're building a solution on the Shiratsu. You target three. And you have a good solution as is. Very good. Fire at will. Now, you, I want to have you head, yeah, that way. Massachusetts, stop your turn. It's actually not terrible having her broadside, because it means that she's able to bring those uh, five inch guns there on the side to bear as well. Now, let's quickly get rid of these destroyers. Ideally before the launch torpedoes. So we're going to have to have a pretty close look at what these guys are up to. Unfortunately the Massachusetts is not going to go together with another ship. In the, the, the hopes that the Washington and the Massachusetts would be engaging together. Well, the Washington is still RTB for more ammo. I wasted slash spent all of that trying to get rid of an airport. And that worked. The airport's gone. But of course at the expense of a lot of ammo. You guys don't seem hit at all, but those shells are getting awfully close to the Fubuki. She's not making it too easy though, she's doing quite a lot of turning. With a solution of 68, I suppose that I can go for a narrow spread. And the flint? Your solution's even better. 
Narrow spread. Oh, was that a hit? Yeah, I think she's been hit. Yeah, minor damage only, though. Still, a couple of 16-inch shell hitting these ships, and it's going to be a good night for them pretty damn quick. I'm firing armor-piercing, not HE. Why are you turning? Did I not tell you to go south? If not, then that's my mistake, not theirs. One of them is definitely burning. That's very good. One, Fabuki. So that's the Massachusetts doing. Yeah, I need to turn to starboard more. Head that way. Now let's see. Of these ship classes that we're seeing right here, how many do they have left? The Fubuki class. Uh, Fubuki class. They still have plenty of those, so we're probably going to encounter a lot more of the Fubukis. Okay. The Mutsuki class. I believe we've encountered a lot of those and sunk quite a few. Yeah. Um, kamikazes, plenty of those left. Wakatake, about half of the ships in that class are left. Minikazes, all the Minikazes are alive? Huh. I thought I got rid of quite a few. Guess not. Uh, what else have they got? The Akatsukis, all dead. Matsuharus, three alive. Shiratsuyu, plenty. Sashios, plenty left. Kageros, loads of those. There are 19 in the class, and I only killed off three of those. Yugumos? We're going to be doing a lot of destroyer hunting. There are so many of these guys left. McDonough just. Flat out disengage, will you? Have we taken any damage on our ships? Nope. 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 Okay, good. We're dishing it out. We're not taking any. Exactly as I like it. If you're creating a fair fight, something has gone wrong. Interestingly, it seems like Shiratsuyu is not taking any damage. Flint, how is that happening? Because you're pretty much the ideal weapon system against destroyers. Lots of fast-firing 5-inch guns. What's your excuse? There. That's a hit. Just the one. The Fubuki looks to be at least heavily damaged and potentially critical. Uh, oh, you just started taking hits as well, didn't you? Just loads of splashes. We still have plenty of ammo. 2,000 shells. But at this rate, <laughs> we're going to need lots to sink destroyers. Not even to mention a convoy. Once you're dealing with a convoy of uh, merchantmen... Oh, buddy, do those take a lot of damage to sink. How many HE do we have left here? 138. Armor piercing is probably just way too much damage. It'll probably fly in one side right out the other. There we go. It's, uh, the uh, Fubuki is sinking. Means you can switch target to the Mutsuki. We are slightly farther to the south. Hits. Now, I don't know if they've dropped any torps yet. But in case they have, I'm going to just do a slight course adjustment. And I'm going to do the same thing with... Actually, the mass is already doing a course adjustment. We're just going to slow her down more. So that if the thrones were launched in this direction, they're going to sail past without doing any kind of damage. Shiratsuyu. Damaged. Not sure about this one yet. Matsuki.
close shells explosion there. But nope, another salvage is wasted. What are you firing at? The flint? Because that's the battleships, that's the Massachusetts, and they're they're definitely targeting the flint. Is the Massachusetts at a good angle? Yeah, our secondaries are still going off. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to see. Flint. Your range? 9,800 yards. Yeah, these things don't stand a chance. I'm not surprised. Actually, no, I am surprised that the Shield Sea is still doing 31 knots. She seems pretty heavily damaged, but still capable of doing good speed. What about you? Slowing down. 28, 29. Not that badly damaged then, huh? Alright, slow down and come to port. Because my stern battery is not functional at this point. Gotta make sure that those guns get a good angle. And my torps? Four and four. Okay, good. Now then. Shall we call this a day and go look for some battleships? Because I'm still short at least one Congo. And uh, the... Musashi is still out here somewhere. I have a carrier task group in the area. Waiting, well, pretty much waiting location information about where the battleship is. And then I can strike it. But I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, we can sort of check that. Uh, the battleships. They got the Hiai, Kirishima, and Haruna left. They're all available. Musashi is not unavailable, so she's here. She is somewhere in the AO. Last I saw her, she was in the southwest. I'm kind of expecting that that's not where she is anymore, because I scouted that area pretty, pretty seriously. But couldn't find anything. So my guess is that she was recalled to do more defense. She's closer. All right, gentlemen, we are willing to discuss your surrender. Although that might not be honorable for the Japanese. That's the Shira down. No, the the Mitsuki down. Massachusetts, it's silent again. And a secondary. 4,100 shells. 3,300 shells. We're fine. Speed reduced to 10 knots. I don't think they even tried to launch their torpedoes. They just keep... They, they kept coming directly for me. Steaming in my general direction and thereby being unable to launch any of those torps that they carry. Their loss. Their choice. Flint has your ammo. Three and a half thousand, a little under two thousand. So yeah, we can engage pretty much another one of these things and not really have to worry about ammo. I would still love to set up a forward resupply point at uh, a closer position. But I just don't really have the materials to do that. Fuel, supplies, stuff like that. No, actually, fuel engineering, that's the stuff that I would need. Come on, give it up. Critical. Ultrafire. So I think we don't really have to do that much. Oh, secondaries. There we go. Job done. Command points gained. Nine. After sinking three destroyers, no ships were damaged whatsoever. Excellent. Now, we're going to keep sending the Massachusetts further north. The uh, Task Force 19, which is the Hornet, is out here. She's still a bit damaged, but otherwise okay for battle. She still has a good amount of aircraft left, although my Avenger count is dropping a little bit. But that's because I have a couple of Avengers here, and they are coming back. So it's not like I'm completely out of those things. Uh, the Enterprise... 
Well, oh yeah, right. She was on repair. And I still have something out here. A convoy went after the Santa Cruz Islands and just landed a whole bunch of troops there. And I'm now desperately trying to find them to intercept and kill. Now with 75 points, I can do a few more ships. Uh, I, it was suggested that I hire another transport convoy to ship more stuff. But I already have the supply runners taking currently 10,000 supplies to Rental Island. And I would like for Rental Island to get captured. And then potentially set up a forward operating base at either here Villa Lavella or Shortland Islands. So that I can start resupplying from here. Of course, Book would be even better, but might come under air attack. And... I want to be able to supply my ships here, not all the way back there. It's just taking too much time. So let's do some more scouting. Let's see what is out here. Yep, aircraft spotted near the herring. That was to be expected. And this is unfortunately going to keep happening as Rabal keeps launching aircraft. These submarines, um, even out here, they are at risk. Even this far away from Rabal, they are potentially the target of airstrikes. So fortunately, there's not that much that these guys can do against me. I can just dive. And leave. Hearing too deep to use radar. Good, that means they can't spot me. And we're gone. Now, I can keep shooting these guys down. But they're going to keep spawning at those islands. Islands have an infinite supply of aircraft. It's a bit cheesy if you ask me, but okay. We're just going to have to work with that. I want you guys not too close to the islands. Just close enough to be able to spot incoming shipping. So that we can send strike packages from the uh, Hornet. And the battle for Guadalcanal is still raging. Uh, I'm just lacking troops. That's the major problem. I am lacking troops. I get resupplied once a week. And then you can find a whole bunch of new troops over there. But for now, this is what we have available. A little while later, Task Force 21, the Softly and the Nicholas, finds a submarine in their proximity. Task Force 21 will take out the said submarine and hopefully get rid of it without taking a beating. Let's see, sea state is terrible. Fortunately, that works both ways. It might mean that the destroyers are bobbing up and down so much that they cannot properly be hurt. But you never know with these uh, Japs. The Japanese submarines are very capable of dealing damage. I just don't know exactly where they are. This is always a bit of an annoying condition. Uh, the game says, hey, there are submarines, uh, and promptly doesn't tell you where they are. Because it means that submarines have always... Oh, there they are. It's like they have always uh, just enough time to dive. This guy seems to be hiding, I'd say, around about there. That general direction, Nicholas. Uh, you need to turn to starboard and evade. There we go. All right, softly, you can slow down. Start listening. Wait for your buddy to catch up. I'm expecting the softly to start finding the sub any moment now. Because we're not too far away from the position where that submarine supposedly launched from. Anything on the water? Trails? Boat. Hold on. Can you see anything? Because sometimes they just linger around the periscope depth, giving you a bit of a clue about where they are. Do they have a layer to hide behind? No, they do not. Okay. Assuming the submarine didn't bug out, because they generally don't. They just sort of stay on the same course and wait for you to close in. I 
Okay, gentlemen. Once again, drop down to nine knots. And listen. Even though the waves are not making it easy. Nicholas, where are you going? Where is he? Those are my sonar pings, not theirs. This is where he was when he launched. I think the sub might be gone. Not gone in the literal sense, it's still out here somewhere. But I'm just having trouble finding it. Sea state's dreadful. Too much noise from the waves and the wind. Making it very difficult to find a submarine. But at least we didn't take any damage and they lost six torpedoes. So let's just wait for another encounter with this guy. And then take him out. We've once again reacquired the submarine. And hopefully the weather is going to be a bit better today. But not so much. Sea state six. So once again, hopefully dodging torpedoes. Making sure nobody gets hurt. Except for the Japanese submarine. Assume target is in front. We're going to split. You are going to turn to starboard. You're going to turn to port. You're going to do that at flank speed. You're going to do that at flank speed as well. Any launch that we can spot? All these waves are making it more difficult than usual. I think I might have something. Maybe over there. Where is that sub? Huh. Scout aircraft, huh? That's interesting. Coming in from the east. So does that mean the scout aircraft is the only one out here? Oh, hold on. Maybe there was a scout aircraft overhead, and that was the engagement that I was forced to do. But the submarine is not out here. Or it's potentially somewhere all the way over there. Thereby unable to launch her torpedoes yet. Because if she would have launched her torpedoes, she would have done it by now. But she's not. So, I'm assuming that the submarine is kind of here, just farther away. And this engagement is just the scout aircraft, launched by the submarine, to be sure. But it's not the threat. Well, indirectly. Depriving the enemy of information is also valuable. <laughs> or not. Can we just leave? Wait for better weather to find a submarine in? Because this is not happening. Yeah, they usually launch torpedoes in the first few minutes of the battle. In the meanwhile, over by the Santa Cruz Islands, which has, of course, been very quickly captured by the Japanese, there are several, not one, several scouter craft about. I have already launched a lot of Kingfishers from my own uh, cruisers, but I'm really having trouble finding these guys. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, it could be that the, the convoy that I'm hunting down here had a cruiser escort, and that that's the guy that's currently launching all these planes. But I don't really know. For all I know, it's two submarines which are working together. See, this plane, I need to follow that one home. Enemy ship spotted near the Kingfisher. There we go. So that's one. Um, yeah, we're going to have to send the whole group over there. Because... Northampton, Salt Lake City and Pensacola are not capable of dealing with submarines, but the Somers and the Warrington are. 
So I need to take this guy out. And that's really the only group that can do it. I don't want to leave my, leave my cruisers alone like that. Maybe at the same time I can use the other kingfishers that I have airborne. To see if I can find whatever other unit is out here. So you're going to just trail the guy. Not go into tactical, but trail him. And we're going to see if we can find the other guy. So we know where to send Task Force 14 next. I just really hope that the weather is good enough here. So that we don't have to worry about submarines disappearing on us. He seems to be heading north to meet the cruiser group. Now, at the last moment, I will disengage with the heavy cruisers. The Depensa, the, the Salt Lake City and the Northampton. And just send the Summers and the Warrington in. Because these are just sitting ducks. They cannot do anything against the destroyer. The only moment when they can be useful is when the submarine surfaces. But they generally don't want to do that too soon. So it's not very likely to happen. And over here I have the Hornet parked just behind the line of the submarines. And of course the Massachusetts and her group. And I'm waiting for something to happen. Waiting for anything to appear. Uh, currently no joy. So we're just sitting here. But it is an, a bit of a blockade line to ensure that nothing else can just jump and head all the way over to Guadalcanal, which is still heavily fought over. And in the meanwhile, the transport fleet here, the supply runners, are coming in with 12,000 supplies for the Rennell Island. Now let's see if I can actually finish off this sub. Because I would like to do a bit more than just sink three destroyers in one match or in one video. Okay, you guys head south, due south. TF-29, what do you have? Oh, you guys are engaging the sub. Perfect. Or is that just the plane? It's just the plane. Crap. Okay. Well, so be it. We can take down that scout aircraft. Just to be on the safe side, we're going to do a bit of a turn. Sea state's beautiful here. And thereby finding a submarine, just not yet, shouldn't be too hard. Now these are definitely not Fletchers. Uh, I'm not even sure if they have dual purpose guns. These are Summers class, aren't they? Yeah. Nope, no dual purpose guns. Do you have any kind of anti air in the first place? You do, but it's very limited. And again, that's not what these boys are here for. They're here to take down the sub. Okay, you gentlemen need to head south. And the guys behind you need to head north. No. Gotta find him. Good news. We found the submarine to the north. So it is in fact a second submarine and not a surface group. Bad news, my destroyers are all the way down here, and they're not capable of dealing with that submarine at the moment. So for the moment, I'm just going to have to shadow it again. And you know what, I might just have to buy some additional destroyers. I know that I won't be having enough funds to buy the Enterprise back. But at this point, I'm more concerned about the destroyers. Uh, or about the submarines, I would really like to get rid of those guys quickly. Uh, what do we have? Porter class. So long as they have a bit of anti-air... Uh, preferably dual purpose guns. Yeah, Mayhans are fine. Torps, anti submarine weaponry, excellent. We're gonna dispense or uh, send out the Mayhan and the Drayton. And I need you guys. No, not over there. Here. 10 hours. It's very quick for a DD to arrive. Now, new attempt. I had a uh, an attack with slash from. No, an attack on the Warrington and the Somers that I could not ignore. So I'm assuming that the submarine is, in fact, making a play this time. Weather is great. Sea State 4. All I need to do is get him. Where are the Torps? Once you know how to deal with these submarines, they become pretty, pretty easy to manage. I just have to keep a, a vigil for any torpedo launches. Once you see those, backtrack and engage.
Please don't tell me I'm still not finding that sub. The only reason why it's not launching torps that I can imagine, or reasons rather, is that either it doesn't carry any, like it's out, or it's too far away. Because it's just not launching, and this is such a frustrating part of the game. I know there's a sub out here. The game says, hey, you got an encounter that you cannot skip. And it's just not there. So once again, we are hunting ghosts, but the ghost just so happens to be at the exact location of the submarine. <sighs> Frustration. Anyway, I hope to be able to find this guy next time, and uh, the other destroyer group's going to help sink that submarine, which sooner or later will mean that the Japanese have sent and expent all of their submarines. So that is a moment that I very much welcome, because then I don't have to keep hunting ghosts. For now, thank you for watching, hope you found it enjoying, and I'll see you soon for another episode.